Welcome to DIY Man. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to build this really simple little dresser. The first thing we'll work on today is this face for the dresser. And I'm using 1x2s to make this part. Now with lumber prices so high right now, one thing I do to save a little bit of money is to cut up a 2x4 and make my own 1x2s. Now we'll go ahead and cut these up into some shorter pieces. We're also going to need to cut up a 1x4. We need 1 at 7 inches, 5 pieces at 25 inches. Don't trust this video, it's actually 5, not 4. Then we need 2 pieces at 48 inches, and then 1 1x4 at 25 inches. Then for all of these pieces, except the two 48 inch 1x2s, let's put two pocket holes on each side of those. These pocket holes are going to allow us to assemble the face and not have any gaps in our joints. And this makes it look a lot more professional. Let's start assembling this piece by taking that 1x4 and attaching it to the bottom of those 48 inch 1x2s. Then we'll attach one of those 25 inch boards in between there at the top. Then we'll attach that second one with a 7 inch gap between the top board and that one. Then the rest of these will have a seven and a half inch gap. Then we'll attach that seven inch board right in the middle between the top and the second one by two. Then we'll give this thing a good sanding to make it look like one solid piece. Next, let's build the frame for the two sides. And once again, to do this, we're going to be using 1x2s and 1x4s. For the materials for both of these sides, we need four 1x2s at 48 inches, two at 11 and 3 quarters inches, and two 1x4s at 11 and 3 quarters inches. And just like the front, let's put two pocket holes on each side of all of these, except the four 48 inch pieces. Then, to assemble these, we'll take one of these smaller 1x2s and attach it to the top between the two 48 inch pieces. Then we'll install that 1x4 at the bottom. And both these two sides are exactly the same, we'll just assemble this one the same way. Would you look at this, I got some little shop buddies. Gunner, do you like working in the shop with me? Good boy, good boy. Now let's assemble the basic frame of this thing. To do this, all I'll use is a little wood glue and some finishing nails to attach the face to the front of the two sides. Now let's add a little bit of plywood. This thing's really going to start looking like a dresser now. For the two sides, we need two pieces of half inch plywood that's 14 and a quarter by 45 inches long. If you're going to be using side mounted drawer slides, I recommend using 3 quarters inch to make these two pieces instead of half inch. 
I'll be using undermount drawer slides today, so that won't really matter for me. Another thing you'd want to do is attach some kind of 2x2 two two in between here, that way you could attach those. For the back, I'm going to use a piece of half inch plywood that's 26 and a half inches wide and 45 inches long. Let's go ahead and sand all these pieces before we assemble it. Because I'm using undermount drawer slides, I'm going to lay this back up here and mark where those need to go. If you do this, this is going to save you a lot of time when you go to mount those. Let's start with the two sides. We'll attach these flush with the top and butt it up against the front with wood glue and finishing nails. Then we'll use wood glue and finishing nails to attach the back in that small groove created by the plywood in those 1x2s. Let's cut out another piece of half inch plywood. This time we need a piece that's 26 and a half inches long and 14 and 3 quarters inches wide. And we'll just install this guy on the bottom of our dresser. Alright, now let's start working on the drawers. We're going to need four of these big ones here. To do this, let's cut up some half inch plywood. For each drawer, we need two pieces that are 14 and a half by 6 inches. Then, we need one that's 23 inches by 6 inches for the back. Then, for the bottom, we need one piece that's 23 by 14. Now we'll just assemble this using wood glue and finishing nails. I do want to mention that there are definitely better ways to make drawers, but this is by far the easiest and quickest way to do this. And you don't need any kind of special tools to build these. And as you can see from this video, I'm taking these 14 and a half inch boards and I'm attaching them to the sides of that 23 by 6 inch piece. Those should just be flush with the back there. Then I'm taking this larger 23 by 14 inch board and I'm attaching it to the bottom edge of these. Now for the face of our drawer, let's rip down a 1 by 10 to 8 inches wide. Then we'll cut it to 26 inches long. Then on the back of this board, let's draw a line 1 inch from each side.
Then let's draw a line 5 eighths of an inch up from the bottom all the way across. Now we're going to attach this thing to the rest of our drawer and we want our plywood to be flush with the inside edge of these lines. Now to give these drawer faces a little bit more strength I'm also going to use a couple pocket screws on the sides here. And just in case you didn't recognize it, this is the pocket hole jig I built a couple months ago. And if you borrow your friend's pocket hole jig, you can build one just like it really easily. I'll throw that video link in the description if you want to watch that after this one. For this next part, I'm going to take a 2x4 and rip it up into some quarter inch strips. Check this out, I've been using this table saw this whole time and this dog's over here snoozing. It doesn't bother him one bit. I think he's going to make a good shop dog. Alright anyways, let's cut this up into some smaller usable strips. Okay we need two pieces at 8 inches long and two at 23. I do also want to mention that you could use strips of lattice to make these pieces instead of ripping up a 2x4. You'll have to figure out what length to cut these though because they come in weird sizes. Now I'll just attach these to the front of her drawer face using wood glue and finishing nails. This is going to give her drawer faces a shaker style appearance. If you don't want this, you can either leave the drawers as they are or you can router the edges. Next, let's build one of these two smaller drawers for the top. Let's do this by cutting up some half inch plywood. First, we need one piece that's 6 inches wide and 9 and 3 quarters inches long. Then for the two sides, we need two pieces that are 14 and a half by 6 inches. Then for the bottom, we need one piece that's 9 and 3 quarter by 14 inches long. I found it was a little bit easier to put the pocket holes in those sideboards now before we assembled these. And these smaller drawers are going to assemble the same exact way as those bigger ones. Next, let's take that 1 by 10 we ripped down to 8 inches earlier and cut a piece that's 12 and 3 quarters inches long. We'll draw a line 1 inch from each side on this one too, and 5 eighths of an inch from the bottom, just like the bigger drawers. Then we'll attach this space with wood glue, pocket screws, and finishing nails, just like the other one. And just like those bigger drawers, we're going to need some more of those quarter inch strips. We need two that are 8 inches long and two that are 9 and 3 quarters. Then once again we'll attach these with wood glue and finishing nails.
Let's go ahead and clean these up a little bit before we move on to the top. There's a lot of different things you could do for this dresser top, but for today, I'm just gonna use half inch plywood. We need to cut a piece that's 28 inches long and 15 and a half inches wide. Then let's cut up a two by four into one inch by one inch strips. And when I say one inch by one inch, I mean actually one inch, not three quarters. Now let's cut a 45 degree angle on both sides. We need two of these pieces that are 30 inches long total from the long end to the long end. Then we need to cut two that are a little shorter. These two need to be 17 and a half inches in total length. We'll use these two shorter ones on the left and right sides and these longer ones on the front and back. Now we'll just attach these using wood glue and finishing nails. All right, now that our top is complete, let's go ahead and temporarily install it on top of our dresser. Then we'll use some wood filler and go ahead and sand this thing down one final time. I think I'll go ahead and fancy this top up a little bit with this quarter inch Roman OG. Someone please tell me if I'm saying that correctly. All right, let's go ahead and remove this top so we can stain it. I'm staining mine with a special walnut from Minwax. Then once it dries, I'm using a polycrylic to seal it. I think for the main part of the dresser, I'll just spray it with a white oil-based paint. Then once this thing dries, I'll go ahead and permanently install that top with wood glue and finishing nails. All right, now let's go ahead and install our 15 inch undermount drawer slides. I'll try to link up some good ones in the description below in case you need to order some online. I did put one more coat of polycrylic on the top here and that helped fill in those nail holes a little bit. Then once that's complete, we'll go ahead and throw on some drawer pulls. And now our simple little dresser is complete. And there's a ton of drawers here for lots of storage. And as you can see, I didn't need any ridiculous $10,000 tools to build this thing. And this thing's gonna last someone a lifetime. I will say I'm not a huge fan of the way the top turned out. I think it needs to sit up just a little bit higher on the dresser, but you could easily make those changes when you build yours. I hope you got value out of today's video. And I hope you enjoyed watching me glue a bunch of wood together. If you did, would you consider hitting that like button for me and subscribing? I'll see you next time.